Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Weekly Coder. I'm Chris, and today we are going to continue our Pong clone. We uh, left off with uh, more advanced ball movement in the last uh, tutorial, so let's have a look and see what that, uh, what we did there. Oh yeah, that's right. We made it so the ball can bounce at angles. I'm sure that you guys loved the uh, trigonometry lesson, or, you know, just a little bit. So now that we've got our ball moving at angles, we can do some other stuff like make the game not so boring by adding some artificial intelligence to our computer player, right? Because we're just playing against ourselves. We're going to be really tough to beat. <laughs> so let's add some difficulty to this game, huh? Um, we're going to do this in our, uh, we're going to go into scripts and we're going to go into computer. Okay. So right now the computer paddle is being controlled by the arrow keys just as the player paddle. Right. So what we want to do is we want to make the uh, computer player move independent of the player. So we are going to do a couple of things. We're going to, uh, let's see here. We are going to, we're going to get rid of the check user input method. We're going to get rid of the call to the check user input method. We are going to create a move method. That'll be a void. And we're going to call the move method from the update method. Okay. And then we need to check. Okay. So we're going to create two variables, uh, one for the ball and one for the ball's position. So uh, that's going to be a vector two. And actually, these are going to be private vector two ball position. And in our move method, uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check to see if a ball is instantiated. If it's not, we're going to find the ball and set it equal to uh, the actual ball. So game object find game object with tag we're going to use. Um, and I think we've already got the ball tag. If we don't, we're going to go into Unity and do that. All right. So the next thing we're going to need to do is we need to check the position or the direction of the ball. So if ball dot get component, we're going to get the ball. Oops. All right. Ball, the ball class. And we're going to check the ball direction. We're going to see if it's equal to vector two dot right. Um, because we only want the computer paddle to move if the ball is actually going in the direction of the computer paddle. Make sense? So uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the ball position uh, vector and we're just going to grab ball transform local position. Okay. And from here, we're going to just check a couple of things. So if transform local position dot y is greater than bottom bounds and ball position dot y is less than transform dot local position dot local position dot y <laughs> then we want to set the transforms position so we're going to set the local position of the paddle equal to new vector three zero in the X because we're not moving in the X. We're going to do move speed times time dot delta time and zero in the X. And we're doing negative move speed because um, if it's greater than uh, the bottom bounds, sorry, if the, uh, the paddle position is greater than the bottom bounds, okay, and the ball's position is less than the uh, position of the paddle. So if it's lower than the position of the paddle, so the ball's here, our paddle's here, the ball is lower than the paddle, 
we want the paddle to move down, okay? We want it to continuously increment to move down and until it either, either gets past the ball or the, um, sorry, the bottom bounds or, or the uh, paddle exceeds the bottom bounds, okay? So then if the transform dot local position dot y is yeah, less than, less than the top bounds and the ball position dot y is greater than the transform dot local position dot y then we are going to do the opposite. We're going to say transform dot local position plus equals new vector three zero move speed times time dot delta time and zero. Okay. So this line of code basically does the opposite of what this line of code does and it moves the paddle by its move speed and I don't know if we've adjusted anything yet, but let's just have a look here. Let's save this and go into play mode. All right, so the paddle is not moving. Oh, we obviously did not set a tag for the ball. So it's going to prefabs into this ball. It's untagged. We don't have a tag for ball, so let's add one. So we'll do add ball, save that, go back into prefabs, click on the ball, and set the tag to ball. Okay. And <clears throat> that should take care of that. So we can press play now. Here comes the ball and it's going the other direction and the computer player got it and we're going to go up and he's trying to get it oh and he's following oh good job computer player and it looks like the computer player can move just as fast as we do which um, is going to make the computer player extremely hard to beat so he is right on top of it. Oh, he's totally going to get it. Ah, yes. All right. So let's see here. We've got our player. Move speed uh, 8. And we've got the computer paddle. Move speed is 8. So we're going to set that to 6. And let's have another go here. Aha. Uh -huh. And he's still moving because the ball is technically still traveling. If you'll look at the scene view, you'll see the ball is still going up and down and the paddle is moving with it. All right, so now that we've got uh, the speed decreased on the computer paddle, we actually have an opportunity at beating him. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, uh, here we go, come on. Oh, shit. Oh, come on, computer player. You can't beat me. He's still extremely difficult. Okay. So, yeah. Well, that's that's basically it um, for, the AI, for, <laughs> for the AI for now. Um, we are, however, going to... Um, in a later tutorial, not the next one, the next one's going to be UI, so it's going to be like about scoring and things like that. But the next tutorial is going to show you how to make the game a little more difficult. And not just computer AI wise, but like um, progression of play. Um, so we're going to make it so the ball is actually going to travel a little faster as the game progresses, right? So stay tuned for that. Um, any questions or anything? Leave them in the comments down below. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video.